All righty, I just made a quick stop over here at Sadieville, Kentucky. I'm gonna see if we can get a train or two going through town. This is a small town, just by 575. They got a caboose here, look at that. That's cool looking. And then you got the railroad track right over there. All right, let's see if we can get the train down through here. I'm at the old Statenville schoolhouse up on top of the hill. It's had some rough times. There's the gymnasium right over there. This place burnt. There's not much room up here for school buses and, and parking. A big school up on top of the hill. Look at this. Pretty sad it burnt. And the railroad tracks are right down below it. See right over here? There's the railroad. Here's another back alley. I can just picture school buses and traffic trying to come and go up here, you know, after school and before school. Not a whole lot of room. Wouldn't it be cool to see a train right now? Well, guess what? I think you're about to get lucky. About to see a train come through here. This is the view that the school kids would have. Had. Look at this. It's awesome. All right, here comes the train. That's the main part of town, right down there, about where the back of the train is right now. That's the main part of downtown Sadieville. Oh, it got windy. It's about 40, 42, 43 degrees. Wouldn't be bad if it wasn't so windy. Got to go around the curve. All right, there you go. Got lucky. I heard that train on my scanner. It was picking up the engine train device, 452.9375. That's what let me know about it. And there's the school overlooking the railroad line. Looks like that school is going to have to be tore down. What a shame. Auditorium on the right and the main part of the school on the left. A lot of history right there. All right, thanks for watching. It's pretty cool. A little closer view here. Hey, if anyone went to this school, leave a comment below. I'd like to know how you got the cars in and out of here. 
when schools let now. It seems like you'd have a major traffic jam. Not much of a parking lot up here. And you got two little lanes that lead to it, and that's it. Wow, look at the auditorium. There's the main stage. Just think of all the plays that took place right there. Basketball games that were played in here. There's a basketball hoop right there. And that's gone. Wow. A lot of history here. Look at this. I wonder how much longer this thing will be standing. A lot of the stuff they tried to store in here, it's all been destroyed by the water. Look at that roof. Well, that's the auditorium. High rail. There's the main part. Look at that. Had classrooms in here. The office where I would have to go every couple weeks. This thing's going to crumble apart and fall down. This was a massive fire. If you look on Google Maps, it looks like the thing's still standing. So this couldn't have been real long ago. But wait, there's more! Where was it? Alright, here she comes. Oh, cool to see me. Sweet. good one or I'm gonna find another spot it's really windy out it's about 41 degrees but it's got really windy especially with that train going by hey this sounds pretty interesting actually um, I was here one time and there was an old house that caught on fire or something and they had a big deck on the back that was collapsing and the place was roped off as being unsafe the town bought it it was right here 
and they made this into a parking lot. There was actually a house right there. There's City Hall. It's an old train station that was moved over there. But um, check this out. Look how steep this is back here. There's a house like this one. And it was right here. It's in one of my videos. So they filled this all in with dirt to make a little bit of a parking lot for City Hall. There's the railroad. That's really cool. Look at that painting. They've got that kind of merging in with that caboose, making it look like it's at the end of the train. That's pretty clever. I like it. Here's your closer look at the City Hall train station. And here's something you can click on and read at your leisure. Very interesting. There you go. Click on that and read at your leisure. But wait, there's more. So it is. Got another train coming. Safetyville. Here we go. I was just getting ready to leave and I heard it on my scanner. They were following the intermodal train. Frames. Look at all those. Wow. That's a lot of truck frames there. There you go, live action down here in Sadieville, Kentucky. I wasn't planning on getting two trains here. I sat in the track so long, I mean, I sat in the truck so long, messing around with my cell phone, that I heard another train coming. So I got two of them here. All right, now I think I might head up the road. There's the main part of the town. But wait, there's more, there always is. Once again, before I get ready to leave, I sat around so long, another train's coming. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We get a view from over here this time. Coming this way.
right, there you go. That was pretty good. A tanker train headed southbound. That last car on there, that's a uh, spacer car. They got one at the front and at the back. Keeps a little bit of distance between the locomotives and the hazardous uh, chemicals in those tank cars. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna move somewhere else, see if I can find something else. Hey, look at this. I'm just a few miles out of Sadieville. I'm on Luke Road, and here's a railroad overpass. This is really interesting. It's narrow, short, and the water goes through here. Look at this. See all the water? It's coming through underneath my truck. The water comes right through here, and you have to drive through this water. There's so much water in there, I can't even walk in there right now, so I get my feet wet. So I just drove through there. Let's have a closer look. I can get on the side. As long as you're standing on the sides here, you can get up out of the water. This is really neat. I wonder how old this thing is. Got a, a railroad track up on top. It is windy. Sorry about all the wind. We got a very poor drainage situation right there. Need some kind of work. Looks like at one time there used to be a house right in that area. I'm sitting in the driveway for it. So that would have been a really nice place to live. Nice and peaceful. No neighbors. And you got the trains right over here. Now in the summertime, you won't be able to see those trains at all. You can just barely see them now. Pretty cool. And look at there. <laughs> I get up to the top and the steel coal train's coming. Oh. From Middle Port, Middletown, Indiana to Rockport, Indiana. Oh. Milltown, Ohio to Rockport, Indiana. Here we go. Awesome. Wow, I just got up here and that train came. See, the road's down that way. That's very steep. <clears throat> Pretty hard to get through. All kinds of briars. Uh, let's see, where, where does the road go through at? That really wore me out. That is steep. See that? You can see a little bit of my truck shining. So if it's on down this way a little bit where it goes underneath. We'll see if we can find it here in a minute. Here's the other side of the track, looking straight down towards the road. That is way too steep. There's no way I can get through there. And that concrete, that's the road with the water on it. That is the road right there. And there is a house right over there. So I am right directly over top of the road right now. You can tell there used to be two tracks here. So it's like a little gravel lane where the other track used to be. Alright, so the road's down that way. It's not quite as steep right here. A little bit farther walk, but it's not straight up and down. See, there's the road. channel called history in your backyard they actually did a segment on this and um, that's how I first saw it I looked it up and here I am here we go let's drive through it let's see if I can film this
All right, there you go. The tracks are up there. Wow, it's pretty out here. Live action. I like the location of that home right there, but they got that creek right in front of it. But look at this. There's your old driveway. It fell apart. It's not in use anymore. I guess it probably got flooded. So now they have to drive right through the creek itself. See there? They gotta go right through the creek. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate your support. If you have time, watch another video because every view really helps my channel. Now it's time for the slideshow and we got the pets. See you later. Chalk tooth out. Hey, Jesse. I get back and the sun finally comes out. Look at this. Even though it's pretty cold out and windy, like always this time of year. A lot of live action. Hey, Loki, what's up?